Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your Madam Day Nun, one home is it within a colon, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we're going to get into your relationship read, okay? Please remember that these messages may apply to your past, your present, or your future. Um, this also can pertain um, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your side piece, your mistress, your sneaky link, okay? <clears throat> um, your friends with benefits, your sugar baby, sugar daddy, whatever your situation may be, okay? Okay, guys, so we have the overall messages here for you already. You have here, don't let a joker make you an option. Crush, whining and dining, twin flame fling, lonely, and can we be friends with benefits, okay? So right off the back, I, I, I feel like somebody has a crush on you, okay? But this person is... Um, probably a bit of a player or they date around um type of thing um it, it doesn't seem like they they are really looking for a serious committed relationships considering the fact they just want to be friends with benefits however i feel like when you all are hanging out together or you know doing what you do having fun where you are going out staying in you know doing what grown folks do honey that this person will treat you halfway decent okay because we have whining and dining here okay so like this person doesn't mind like taking you out for drinks or going to have a bite to eat okay this person definitely wants a sexual relationship with you though okay um which they are classifying as friends okay with the benefits um, spirit is saying that this is a twin flame fling, okay? This person could be lonely or you could be lonely right now. Um, you could be just kind of by yourself. You're on your own. You're all alone. You're a loner, okay? Or this person may be in that energy, um, themselves, okay? Yet, if it's them that's in this lonely energy but have a crush on you, I feel like they, um still want to keep their options open or something okay so let's let's get some further clarification to see what in the world is going on okay so spirit clarify um don't let a joker make you an option don't let a joker make you an option <clears throat> Yeah, you could be in hermit energy. You definitely um, go within a lot. Um, you definitely could be single, okay? Spirit is telling you to love yourself and know your worth, okay? If this is not a, a type of situation um, that is acceptable unto you, okay? Don't just do something because somebody else wants you to, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that you do deserve the very best, that you are special, Okay, you're beautiful. Um, to put yourself first, okay? Know your worth, okay? So for your clarified crush, what is this crush? Or whom is this crush? So this crush, um, is uh, he's the manly man type here. This is my, the caffeinated card here, okay? He could like um, coffee. He could be a big coffee drinker, teas, um, energy drinks, sodas, things like that that has caffeine in it. Um, but um, it seems as if this person likes coffee. Um, this person may be um, muscular, okay? Um, they may even lift weights. This person could have any type of job profession, whether businessman, construction worker, handyman. Um, this person could like the outdoors, could be a hunter. Um, this person could even be an owner, okay? Um, Spirit is saying that they may be a little bit temperamental, kind of harsh, um, strong, um, straight to the point kind of person. This person could be kind of mean sometimes, okay? And they may not be so affectionate, okay? This, th this person is definitely a beer kind of guy when um, they choose to have a drink or something like that, okay? 
this person is hardworking, but spirit is saying that this person could be a bit of a tough Gus, okay? Spirit, clarify whining and dining, please. Clarify whining and dining. So this person may want to take you out for um, some sweets and treats. Okay, um, a bar and grill type of restaurant, or this could be a dine-in um, type of restaurant that this person wants to take you out to. So we're clarify um, wine and dining, please. This person may um, rise and shine very early as well, okay? This person may want to go out to breakfast with you, okay? But we have here lunch, dinner, um, eat, drink, play, fun cart here, okay? So this, y'all may do like a, um, a lunch or a dinner date, okay? Um, y'all may um, go to a bar or something like that, a bar and grill type of place or something like that, like I said. So we clarify twin flame fling. Clarify this twin flame fling for us, please. Who is this twin flame fling spirit? person may be an earth sign an earth sign keep trying to pop out it's very clear by this twin flame fling okay so um <laughs> this is my uh lgbtq community um lover's card here multi-sexual lover's card here okay um this person may be bisexual or you could be bisexual, okay? Um, or this may be someone of the same sex, okay? So we're clarify lonely. Why is this lonely here? Why is this lonely here, spirit? So we have the strength card here, okay? Whether it is you or he um, or she or whomever. Whomever is this as in this lonely energy here. Um, I feel like you've been really strong throughout this time. You've been by yourself and alone, okay? Um, the, the strength card speaks to balance, endurance, faith, stability, overcoming conflicts even, okay? Standing your ground, having patience, okay or even taking a risk here okay it also speaks to courage okay um i feel like with strength sitting here on the lonely card here you may have been alone and by yourself for quite some time here you've just been kind of patiently waiting for the right one to come along or this person that has a crush on you um could be in this energy as well okay Spirit, clarify, can we be friends with benefits? Why is this here? Can we be friends with benefits? Yeah, so be careful of this person trying to catfish you. Somebody may be trying to catfish you, okay? This could be a masculine or a feminine, okay? If you are a feminine, um, like I said, this could be a masculine or a feminine. This is, since my LGBT community lovers card came out, this person could either be bisexual or... Um, they're someone of the same sex. So they could be lesbian or gay or they could be bisexual, okay? Depending on if you are male or female here, okay? Um, it seems like this person um, is into playing games, okay? This person may be um, fake, phony, fraudulent, a manipulator, a scammer, phony, a user, um, a false person, a crook, swindler, heister, cheater, abuser, liar type of energy. Somebody could be trying to set you up 
Somebody could be a bit of a gold digger, whether they're male or female, a deceiver, a swiper. Um, demonic type of energy. Um, we have here, your feelings are valid at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So listen to your intuition, follow your wisdom when meeting this person here, okay? Um, express yourself and speak up, okay? You definitely need to express how you feel here, okay? Um, this may totally be a, a turn off to you, okay? Because you deserve better, okay? You also deserve to be heard, okay? Your voice, your thoughts, and your opinions matter. Um, never let anyone mute you, okay? And never dim your own light, dumb your own self down to be what somebody else wants you to be here, okay? Um, say something, okay? I do feel like this person may come on to you or contact you, message you, or, you know, something like that um, to let you know that they are interested in you. However, um, I feel like you may sense that this person um, is not serious, is into playing games or something. Spirit clarify, don't allow a joker to make you an option, okay? Because I definitely feel like that this person, this person's like, they have a crush on you. They want to come and see your life. They don't mind taking you out to eat or having some drinks or something like that, but they definitely have an alternative motive. They are attracted to you sexually. Um, they want to have sex with you, okay? Um, I But I don't feel like this person wants to be committed, okay? So that's the reason why you started off with don't allow a joker to make you an option, okay? You do not have to sit on no back burner waiting for nobody um, to come along and decide that they want you. They want to be with you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, so we have the courtship card here, okay? This talks about um, two individuals dating one another here, okay? Um, like I said, do not let this person make you an option, okay? Put you on a back burner, have you hanging, okay? Those type of energies, those type of persons, um, they come in, they say the right things, they do a few good things, okay? They get what they want from you and they kind of ghost you, okay? Um, but nevertheless, okay, Spirit is saying to love yourself and know your worth, okay? And that's how you're going to know how to approach the situation, okay? We have message here on crush. So like I said, this person is going to send you some type of messages, news, information, or communication. Um, they like you. They want to get to know you better. They want to hang out or go on a date with you or something like that, okay? But this person is definitely going to send you some type of communication, Whining and dining, spirit. Clarify whining and dining. You also want to make sure this person um, isn't already with someone or come in a, a serious committed relationship, which could be the reason why they're a bit standoffish and not into having a serious committed relationship with someone, okay? Just don't let this person play with your heart, your feelings, and your emotions, okay? Spirit, clarify this whining and dining. Why is this here? Yeah. <clears throat> this person may act like they, like this, like I said, this person don't mind taking you to eat or going to have some drinks or something like that. They're liable to do or say anything to get you to loosen up. But I keep seeing false person that wants to pop out, okay? There's something kind of, there's something very fake about this person here, okay? So we've got the main male here, okay? Um, this person was trying to flip over as a false person. Um, so there could be something very fake, phony, and fraudulent about them or something, or something that they're hiding or keeping secret or, or may lie to you about or something here, okay? Um, be very careful. If you go out with this person, make sure you go somewhere, um, where there is, um, where it's well lit and there's plenty of other people around here. Okay. This person can get you off their mind though. They're constantly thinking about you. Okay. Um, they have some type of attraction to you, but I do feel like they have some type of ulterior motives for coming into your life. Okay. Um, 
which could be the reason why this person only wants to be friends with benefits, okay? Spirit, clarify lonely. You're a mature woman, okay? This person may know that you're lonely, know that you have been by yourself for a while, um, know that you... Um, you know, you've been very strong with being by yourself and on your own, okay? That's why this person wants to swoop in, okay, to be your lover. But I, I, I feel like this person, that may be all this person wants from you. Yeah, there's that false person there, okay? There's something fake about this person, okay? This person could be trying to catfish you. Somebody could have sent this person in to act like they like you or interested in you or whatever, um, yeah, be very careful with the situation, okay? Because, like, yeah. I just don't really care for this energy. Spirit, clarify, don't allow a joker to make you an option. Yeah. We have waiting here. So don't, don't sit around waiting. Sit around on some back burner waiting. Um, you know, for uh, anybody, okay, who's not trying to be in a serious committed relationship with you, okay? There's no needing you putting your life on hold to wait for someone who isn't even sure if they like you like that or want to be with you like that, okay? So, to clarify crush. Clarify crush. Why is this crush card here, please, Spirit? Or who is this that has this crush? This person definitely wants to have some type of conversation with you, but I can tell this person is a pleasure seeker, okay? Um, all that's on their mind is fulfilling their own uh, desires, okay? Yeah. This person that has this crush on you is a pleasure seeker. They do things for their own amusement, their own enjoyment, their own liking, ill will, um, intent, benefit, okay? Um, or what have you, they do what pleases them, okay? This person is going to send you some type of communication, though, some type of message. Spirit, clarify whining and dining. Clarify whining and dining. So we have lover here. So this person may come through like they want to be a lover. They want to get to know you better. They want something with you. But I feel like this person is going to say um, what they feel like they need to say to, to get you to let your guard down, to get you to be close to them, um, and to get you to be intimate with them. And I, I really feel like this person may ghost you here, like especially with this sitting up under friends with benefits here, okay? This person... Um, just wants to have fun, just wants to have a good time, okay? And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if that's the place you're in in your life or whatever. If you're single and you're free to mingle, there's nothing wrong with you having a healthy sex life. There's nothing wrong with you dating. Um, but I feel like this person plays a bit of games, especially with this friends with benefits sitting here with catfish and lovers and false person. Like, you know, something doesn't ring true or something isn't right with this person, okay? Which means I, I feel like um, this person would hide things from you, keep secrets from you, okay? Like when you're younger, you may be open for this type of, of things, okay? But the fact of the matter is that, you know, the older that you get, you deserve love. Okay, you deserve to be in that relationship, that serious committed relationship with someone who wants you and only you and they are sure of themselves and know what they want and, you know, not looking for a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, good time with you every now and again, okay? Nobody wants to do that for their entire life, okay? And nobody is that desperate for attention or sex or, you know, a meal, or, a, you know, an alcoholic beverage <laughs> just to say that, you know, they've had an encounter with someone, okay? Like, yeah, that ain't about shit. I mean, you do that type of thing when you're young, when you're having fun, okay? When you're mixing and you're mingling and things like that. When you are older, you came out as a mature woman. This may be a mature man, okay? Even though he came out as main male here. Um, however old he is, it just seems like he's... Um, He's full of games. Spirit, clarify twin flame fling. Twin flame fling, please. 
So like I said, this person can't stop thinking about you. They do feel like you are a sweetheart. So they, that's the reason why they want to send you some type of communication. <clears throat> they want to express to you that they like you. Okay. So we're clarifying lonely. Clarify lonely. I feel like you have become accustomed to being alone. You've come accustomed to being by yourself. Um, it's not really something that you harp on, you think about all the time, you allow to get you down here, okay? Um, I feel like sometimes when you just go within and you think about it, you, you may feel a little sad and by it or whatever, but overall, you just kind of sigh about the situation and move on, okay? It is what it is. It's better to be alone than be in the company of um, somebody who don't have your best interests at heart. You understand what I'm saying? So we're clarify friends with benefits. Cl clarify friends with benefits. What is this friends with benefits spirit? So this person, I feel like, wants to give you some type of gift or something. They want to have some cheerful moments with you, go out. But you, do you see the three people here? There's two women here. This person may already have a woman in their life here. They want to mix and mingle with you um, maybe on the low. That's the reason why they're probably only open for friends with benefits because they're either married or they're in another situation here, okay? That's the reason why you started off with Spirit saying not to let someone make you an option at the bottom of the deck you have um haughtiness here this person is very arrogant very superior um kind of cocky conceited type of energy um you know this person may have that type of mentality like they know they this shit like they can have anybody that they want type of thing or whatever and if that's the case then look by all means go get whatever it is that you want but i'm not going to be your option okay or an optional side piece type of energy okay okay guys so let's get some further clarification for the situation i just I'm, I'm getting the energy that whomever you are you're just too old for the games okay been there done that moved on you're too old for the games you don't want to waste your time you don't need no extra miles on your pussy by somebody to just want to play with you like you know what i'm saying it's crazy so to clarify um don't let a joker allow you to uh don't let a joker make you an option yeah, Spirit is telling you to stand your ground in this situation, okay? That could be also why the Strength card came out with you. You may be lonely, okay? But you're not so desperate and so lonely and so without and so needy and clingy and codependent and um, in need of somebody's uh, anybody's attention and affection and, and shit that you're willing to fall for anything, okay? Or to be treated in any way, okay? You can buy yourself a drink. You can buy yourself a milk, probably. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, that's not going to make all the difference to make you want to hop in the sack with somebody. You understand? So, yeah. We got deception here. Deception and envy here on crush. This person got a little crush on you, but there's something deceiving about this person. Spirit, clarify whining and dining. Clarify whining and dining. Yeah, we got here... Um, rejoice in celebration. Do you see those three hands there? Those three cups there? You see that three there? This person is in another relationship with somebody else. This person wants to make you some type of third party side piece. Okay. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're a full grown adult. You can do what you want to do, but I definitely would not deal with this type of situation at all. This is crazy. This person wants you readily available for them when they want you, when they happen to want you, but then they want to go home and play house with somebody else and give them everything. Absolutely not, okay? Yeah, this twin flame fling would just have you in mental conflict, okay? Would get what they want and ghost you. Spirit, clarify um, lonely. So we have the waiting game here. I feel like you have just been sighing over the fact that you've been lonely for so long. Maybe you have been celibate 
or abstaining from sex for a number of years and you know you you know you just live life you probably really don't worry about it think about it okay and so you know you've just been if you you know you may be at the point in your life if you can't have what you want if you can't have true love and happiness and in fulfillment with someone then you don't want to waste your time being with anyone okay it's just that simple so we clarify can we be friends with benefits yeah see this tip this part temptations here okay this is like the devil card a sex is all on this person's mind okay that's all on this person's mind that's all they're about that's all they want just period okay I just that's what it is okay spirit please give us um, further clarification for the situation let's pull some tarot on this situation guys like this I'm getting irritated with this person whoever they are it's just bullshit if this is somebody of the same sex, don't even waste your time, okay? Because they're full of lame-ass bullshit and they're dealing with somebody else. Um, it really and truly, I would tell you the same thing if it's somebody of the opposite sex, okay? Because um, this person definitely has a third party in your life. You see the three people on Pleasure Seekers. You see the three hands with the three cups here on Rejoice and Celebration here. Even on Cheerfulness, you've seen that one man with there with two women, okay? Yeah. This person is either married or in a serious committed relationship with someone else. So we clarify, don't allow a joker to make you an option. Don't allow a joker to make you an option. Yeah. Competition. Five of Wands. Competition. This person is definitely dealing with other people. Stand your ground against this person here, okay? Um, you don't have time to be competing with this person's other lovers, okay? Um, like, look at this card. Like, this person wants to have his way with you sexually, but do you see how he has pulled up her dress or her, her shirt up over her face so that you can't see all the other options that he has and other things that he's doing, but he wants to have his way with you? Bullshit. Tell him to move around, honey. Spirit, clarify, um, crush. Yeah, spirit is saying that this crush would just break your heart. This crush would cause you heartache and heartbreak. Spirit, clarify whining and dining. For some of you, this may be somebody from your past that's trying to creep back into your life here. Yeah, spirit say that's the truth. That's clarity at the bottom of the deck here. Um, this person hasn't changed. Just period. This person hasn't changed and they would just hurt you all over again with the four of swords sitting there with that. You would need recuperation, recovery, healing after dealing with this person um, because this person would just hurt you. Okay. It's very clarified twin flame fling. So yeah, this person would leave you hanging. With the hanging woman here. This person would just leave you hanging. Okay. You even see three persons here in this card here. Okay. This person definitely is dealing with other people. Is involved with other people sexually. Okay. We got the ace of coins. You have the ace of coins that sit here on lonely. Okay. You could be um, financially stable, secure. Um, some type of abundance or you could have some type of abundance or you're coming into this type of energy this could be this what the reason why this person is trying to weasel their way into your life whether this is a new person or somebody from the past here um this person could be just trying to get close to you um to get over on you in some type of way okay but they don't really want to be faithful and committed unto you okay yeah can we be friends with benefits? We have the King of Wands here. This person is a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay, they may come off like they're very passionate and all this other shit or whatever. But yeah, Spirit is saying that this will cause you nothing but burdens, hardships, and problematic situations. This person may come off very charismatic and passionate and driven and motivated and shit. But all that's on this mind is temptation and lust and sex. This person is a false person. They're a liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist. They're fake, funny, fraudulent, and... Um, disloyal and untrue they have multiple lovers three of cups here this person has multiple lovers they want to make you a third party situation here we even have the four of wands this person is possibly even married okay 
yeah don't do it but this person is going to send you some type of swift fast communication okay some type of messages news information or communication okay this could be a letter um this could be an email instant message something like that okay spirit what other messages what are the messages on don't allow a person to make you an option here have heart to heart conversation with this person let you know let them know that you're not going to stand for being used and abused in any type of way that you're not one of their options okay honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay yeah we got very soon here this person is going to come into you communicate with you spirit is seeing clearly decide what you want now so that it comes to you okay yeah whining and dining this is an unrequited love situation spirit is saying that there's not going to be enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going it's probably because this person got other people in their life any damn way okay so like yeah don't even waste your time on this okay spirit clarify twin flame fling clarify twin flame fling <clears throat> Yeah, Spirit is saying that you need to, um, this person has codependency issues. This this person could have addictions that's affecting their romantic life or something like that or whatever. You definitely don't need to get wrapped up in that situation here. Somebody needs to heal some type of family issues or something that they have. Spirit is telling you to free yourself from the situation here, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself, okay? Because you don't, you don't need this mess. Okay, yeah, because Spirit is saying that this person is full of deception on friends with benefits here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, okay? Yeah, you can keep an open mind all day, every day, okay? But you ain't going to be nobody's fool, and that's period, okay? They can go and feel they fulfill their lustful desires somewhere else, and that's just period. Okay, so let's get some hidden truth. Spirit, what's the hidden truth? Okay. Okay, so if this is somebody from your past, they're talking, to, they, <laughs> this person is feeling like, you know, want to tell you that you don't know how hard it, it, it was for them to let you go. Yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. This person hope that you can forgive them one day if this is somebody from your past trying to come back. Okay. Spirit, please give us the hidden truth to the situation. Give us the hidden truth to the situation. Okay, so this person wants you. This person wants uh is going to tell you that they want you, but they just want you as an option to whatever other options that they have. Okay. Yeah. Um, this person um, has this crush on you, as you know. We have here, I will wait for a sign from you, okay? This person wants to tell you that they are attracted to you here. To clarify, twin flame uh, fling, we have here, I wish things could be different. But this person is codependent. They also have some type of addictions, as well as other lovers, okay? Okay. To uh, clarify, Lonely, this person can't stop thinking about you, though. This person uh, thinks about you all the time, and can we be friends with benefits here? This person wants to be more than friends. They say they want to be more than friends, but they really just want you as a side piece option. They really just want you to let your guard down and let them back in um, just so they can ghost you all over again. They're not going to leave whoever it is th th that they're dealing with or whatever. They're afraid to contact you, okay? Yeah, because they were the same old bs that's why they're with the same obs okay that's what this person is on okay so let's see what else this person has on their mind spirit what else is on this person's mind yeah, look at this, mistress. This person wants you to be their mistress. Yeah. 
this whining dining bullshit um they may even want to try to act like they want you to be their sugar baby they just want you to be some mistress sugar baby side piece okay friends with benefits that's all they want that's all they're about Spirit is saying be careful though because this person will do sex magic on you to have you like addicted to them in some type of way here. And then they'll ghost you. Mm. This person is, if this is a man, he is bisexual. He is a switch hitter. If he's a man, he's a switch hitter. Okay. Or this, this is somebody of the same sex as you. Because I just seen gay homosexual. Spirit, what other messages? We have oral sex here. Okay. I, I see lesbian here. And I also see gay homosexual here. Okay. So for some of you all, uh, if you are a woman, um, this may be a woman that's coming in. with it's still, It doesn't matter if it's a woman or not. This is bullshit as energy. Okay, period. This is bullshit as energy. Um, if this is a man coming into you, um, women, he is bisexual. Okay. Um, spirit, what else? Yeah, see, this person is into threesomes and shit. This person may try to talk you into being in a threesome with them and their other person. Hell no. Hell no. Spirit, are there any other messages? So that's what it is with this person. This person, I also see masturbation. This person could be masturbating to you, okay? As well. Spirit, um, what is, um, what turns this person on about, about uh, who, <laughs> the collective? What turns this person on about the collective? This person may feel like you have a sexy body or something. Yeah, I keep saying sexy body. This person may feel like you have a sexy body. Okay. Um, this person likes your voice. Okay. That's been coming out lately, voice. <clears throat> Spirit, what else? This person likes your lips. A midriff section. Um, this person may have a handsome body. Spirit is saying. Okay. One more, please, Spirit. One more. This person feels like you're fine as wine. Okay. But, you know, whatever. You may be somebody who is, um, if this is somebody from your past, they love your cooking. They like the fact that you're sassy and you're classy, okay? Um, look, it's, it's up to you. If you want this type of drama in your life, uh, you know, if you just want some booty call, um, <clears throat> to get you a quick fix, okay? Then that is up to you, darling. Um, but these are your messages. I really just almost don't even want to spend any more time, <laughs> on this reading because it's just bs it's, it's bs for but you know this is a general reading for you all okay so look if this makes you happy if you're cool with this um you know do what you do okay spirit are there any other messages to this relationship read this person may dig your inner beauty, okay? You're beautiful inside and out here, okay? But you have a lot of inner beauty, okay? You have a lot of compassion as well. This person could be very attracted to that here, okay? We also have healing here, okay? I feel like, and that's another thing. If you have had, you have done a great deal of healing to get over situations that you have endured and you have gone through, um, especially from your past, if this is somebody coming back from your past, 
listen, live in the present. Like, only demons dwell in the past, okay? I hate every time I turn around, all people talk about is, is shit from the past. People, places, and things from the past. Live in the present. Strive towards your future, okay? Your past is behind you. You understand what I'm saying? Why are you looking backwards and instead of looking forward? That doesn't even make sense. I, I really get tired of it. Like, I got to the point where, like, I don't even, like, really listen to other people's readings anymore. Um, and, and I'm not a cross watcher anyway, so I don't watch other people's zodiac signs and shit. Um, you know, some people are just kind of ignorant that way. You know, they just refuse to allow life to happen. Um, you know, they want to control every aspect of life. But really and truly, um, cross watching and it is really and truly kind of an invasion <laughs> of another person's privacy because you're trying to, uh, you know, peek into another person's life and energy to see what they have going to and it's only done in an effort to 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 see if they are whom you want them to be um type of thing and the, the you know and most people the first sign that you hear something you don't like that this person's got going on or something you're mad okay and it may not have even manifested or happened in in the present okay but and so I, me personally i don't cross watch i don't watch anybody else's zodiac signs okay i don't i don't really do that anyway because i'm a reader myself you know what i'm saying so i don't really go off of what other people say even if it's something that kind of piques my interest or something like that um with something that i'll go to my spirit guys i'll go to the creator i'll go to the most high myself and and clarify and 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 get the information because everybody is not a uh, real and on the up and up out here okay but um I really got into the point, well, there's so many people out here who are fake, phony, and fraudulent, for one. They're fake with what they do, um, and they're putting on a show type of thing, um, and they're sellouts, okay? Um, so it, it just amazes me with the shit that people say sometimes, but I've gotten to the point where I just don't really like watching many other people's readings anyway, because... Um, especially for those of you who watch different type of readers and things like that. If you notice, probably like every other reader that you come into, they want you, they're talking about nothing but shit, people, places, and things from your past, okay? But these are the same people in the same breath, maybe even the same reading or on another day tell you, oh, you got to heal, you got to forgive. You got to move on. But the ne very next reading, they're telling you about some shit from your past. They're telling you they want to talk about people from your past. Why? We are in the present, people. We are striving towards the future, okay? You don't want nothing and nobody from your past. Why? They're in the past for a reason. They were cut off for a reason. Y'all are no longer together for a damn reason, okay? Either that new new is going to come in for you, Okay, you're going to run off into the sunset with your, your new love, okay? Or, but you're moving forward in life, whether that comes in for you or not. You understand what I'm saying? And it, it, it's just crazy. You get tired of hearing about the same shit. And, it, and it, it's a trip because it's like, how in the fuck do you, on one hand, tell people, oh, heal from this. You need to heal and cleanse your space and cleanse your body and free your mind and, um... Um, do this and do that to really cleanse your energy and free yourself or whatever. And then they want to, all they want to talk about is people from your past. Somebody coming back. Okay. Look, let me tell you something. If anybody, you ever talk to somebody or run into somebody and somebody say something, oh, I miss the old you. That is a demon. Because first of all, if you think about it, when you knew them before, before you ran back into them, they didn't treat the old you right. You understand what I'm saying? And if you have bettered yourself, if you have become a better person today than say what you uh, were 20 years the fuck ago and you run into somebody that you hadn't been seen in a long time, they go, oh, I missed the, oh, you, you know, oh, what? that ain't nothing but a demon. Nothing but demons dwell on the past. You ever run into that person, some person, and all they got to talk about is the past? Oh, you remember when that time you said such and such, that time when we went and did such and such? What the fuck are you talking about? We're in the present right now. Do you want to speak to me in the present? In the present tense? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like why is the, the past even relevant? You understand what I'm saying? Like, have you ever, like, ran into 
somebody say that you went to school with if you are full goddamn grown and you're a middle age right now and a person you run into a person that you haven't seen or talked to in umpteen fucking years and all they got to do is dwell on the fucking past they are a they are demonically possessed or somebody has convinced or coerced them to have these 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 scripted <laughs> conversations with you what are you talking about why are you still stuck in the past why are you still in the mind frame of when you were in school like i have a kid of my own now who's the fuck in school who in the hell wants to remember back to when they're in school you know maybe it's just me maybe it's just my mind i don't dwell on the past you know what i'm saying like i i'll, I'll speak on something and then i'm moving the fuck on i'm not just to sit up whining and crying and bitching and moaning oh my god this that and the other happened and so the fuck what you're still living you're still here you know where here is right here in the present in the here and now right now right here right here right now is the present why would anybody dwell on the past this is how you know people be fake just as fake phony and fraudulent as they want to be okay and it'd be some of the dumbest shit that you ever the freak heard of every time you turn around the dumbest shit You'll run into something like, say, for instance, you have a deadbeat baby daddy that ain't never respected you, respected your child, or done a damn thing for your child. And then you run across some damn page with some bitch talking about, oh, your baby father, no, he did you wrong, and he apologized. What the fuck? So? Who gives a damn? Nobody's even thinking about that person. They can keep their apology. Like, who in the fuck told them to dwell on the damn past? Like, like, it is stupid. It doesn't even make sense. It has absolutely nothing to do with your presence. You know why? Because they're still a deadbeat father. And they're still not doing any damn thing to take care of their children. So who in the hell triggered you to even have this damn conversation? Oh, somebody from your past. The relationship that y'all had. This is what the reason why y'all stop having sex. This is the reason why, uh, uh, your um your person acted this way what the fuck are you talking about this is not your person y'all are no longer together it is the dumbest shit i have ever heard of but this is the crap that goes on that people feed into and listen to and the very same people that want to tell you how you should heal and how you should cleanse and how you should forgive and how you should move on be the same damn people that loop back around and want to dwell on nothing but negativity from the past it's ignorance it's stupidity it does not even make logical sense okay It's just, it's, 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 it's absolutely ridiculous. I heard the other day somebody say, your person, uh, every time your person try to leave their the karmic, they start crying to get them to stay. Bitch, look, this is not your damn person. First of all, did you just hear the words that came out your mouth? This person is in a relationship. They are a person, but they ain't my damn person. What you just said is this person is in a damn relationship with somebody else that you were referring to as a karmic. I don't give a damn what this bitch do. If she cry, if she, whatever she do to get this person to stay, it don't matter to me. You know why? Because they are the ones in a damn relationship. Ain't nobody my damn person that's with somebody else. If that joker is married, if that joker is in a serious committed relationship, if that joker dealing with baby mama drama, that is not my person. It is not your person. Stop letting people lie to y'all. Come up with bogus ass reading that they made up in their damn head that don't even sound accurate or truthful at all. Okay? And I told y'all before, you want to test this strategy? Walk up to another woman and her man right now and tell that woman that her man is your person. And you sitting on the back burner waiting for they ass to come in for you. You would sound just as stupid and she liable to punch the shit out of you. Okay? Right in the mouth. That's just dumb. But the same women who listen to that shit, who feed into that shit, 
would be the same women who would react like that if somebody approached them about the person that they are with talking about, that's my person. What the hell are you talking about? That is dumb. People also be trying to convince people of things that does not make logical sense that technically they would not even do themselves. I heard some today. This person wants you all to they self. They going to come in to you and they want you to move away from your home way out in the middle of nowhere. They want you completely off of social media, have no contact with anybody, anything. For, what? First of all, this person is a narcissist and a fucking and very possessive and fucking controlling. Oh, but you wouldn't want for nothing. Who gives a damn? That does not even make sense. Oh, this person got nosy, a nosy baby mama and nosy family. Look, bitch, if they try to move on to somebody else, eventually they're going to find out that they're in a relationship with somebody else. What do you look like throwing your independence away? Throwing away what makes you happy, what gratifies you to be a lock and shut in in a damn house just because this person can provide for your ass. They don't want you to have no communication with nobody. They don't want you to be have your own social media. They don't want you to work, have no life at all. And then the person turned around and said, this person just wants you all to your they sell and you to just be a housewife. So this person wants you to be like the lock and fucking shut in. Not seen, not heard, or nothing. This person could smooth massacre you and nobody would fucking know. This person just want to go and y'all live off the grid together. Now, this person sounds like a narcissistic, psychopathic, uh, uh, mass murderer is what that sound like. And what I would love to answer, ask that person, but see them type of people be the people that had their comments turned off where you can't even ask, like, I ain't going to act ignorant with nobody. I just, I, every once in a while I hear somewhere, I just be want to ask a person a genuine question. Would you be in the situation? Cause they tell it to you, to the collective as if this is a probable option that you should take and you should do. But the shit sounds so crazy. I just be want to ask, would you do it? Would you leave your, wherever you live, your home, your car, your job, your, your independence, your family to run off into the sunset with some damn body? They want to take you to the country out in the middle of no goddamn where living off the goddamn grid. This person don't want you to have a phone. This person don't want you to have social media. This person don't want you to do anything with, with, with the, for you to have your own independence. Okay, what about what you want? What about your hopes, wishes, and dreams? What about your desires? What about what you like? Huh? All because this person can provide. That was the dumbest shit I ever heard. That's an abusive-ass situation in the making. Abusive-ass situation in the making. And being a spiritualist, you would think that a person would know this, but this is not what this person said at all. Oh, this is because they, they got uh, greedy family members and this person was going to come to you and then an altercation broke out. And they went, look, let me tell you something. If this person is a full grown ass adult and a man at that, and he don't know how to be a man and make his own damn decision because he too busy worried about what the fuck his family feel or going to say. Uh, what his baby mama gonna, and he got the sneaking fucking creep around as a full grown ass man to be in love with who he want to be in love with, be with who he want to be with. But that's just an excuse, okay? He can stay over there with them or find them somebody, him some damn body else because that don't even make logical sense. But this be the type of shit that you hear. And people eat this shit up. It does not make sense, people. Don't allow somebody to make you an option. You're nobody's property. Nobody owns you. Nobody has the right to control you, manipulate you, use you, abuse you. In any type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay? And a good woman. No, a good man when she run in, 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 into that person. Okay? A good woman, uh, uh, um... And a good man, they know how to submit unto each other. It's not one-sided and abusive. Let's just get that understood. Okay? So, y'all, I just, I, just, I just wanted to say, y'all, learn how to think for yourselves. The end of the day, do what makes you happy, what fulfills you. Your hopes, wishes, dreams, and desires. 
Don't allow somebody else to make you an option. Don't sit on no back burner waiting on nobody to pick you, choose you. You understand what I'm saying? Because spirit says, know your worth. Love yourself first and know your worth. And when you love yourself and when you know your worth, you will not settle for less. Just period. Because even healthy minded people who are friends with benefits, the key word in that is friends. They're really good, close, like bestest friends, but they happen to be of the opposite sex sometimes, or if, depending on your situation, what you like, it could be the same thing. They are the bestest friends, but they are so close to one another and trust each other um, so well that they are comfortable with being intimate with each other as adults yet still live in their own independent lives. And as adults, you have the right to make that decision if you want to. See, that's the true meaning of friends with benefits. It is done in a healthy way. It's not one-sided in the fuck abusive. Okay? So don't, don't, don't allow, um, Nobody to trick and swindle you. Yeah, release at the bottom of the deck. You need to release this person, release this situation, whoever the hell they are, okay? Because they got them games on their mind. Love yourself and know your worth, okay? That's the, that's the, that's the thought for today. The theme for today. Love yourself and know your worth, Okay? And make a conscientious decision within yourself. You ain't even got to tell nobody else what it is you want in your life. Because when you do that and you, de you decide that, when anything less than that come into your life, you're going, to you're going to agree to disagree and respectfully decline. You ain't got to be mean and nasty and ignorant and belligerent. But you stand your ground and stand for what you believe in and stay true to yourself. Love yourself and know your worth. And that's all I got to say about that. And stop letting people convince y'all that other people's husbands and wives is your person. Stop letting people convince y'all. That other people's girlfriends and boyfriends is your person until they are fully out of that situation and you know the reason why that is bullshit because let me tell you something a person who jumps from one bed to a next they are not healed you just looking for something to replace what you previously had when you jump from one bed to a next when you break up with somebody you have to have time to heal your own mind, body, and soul before you can put yourself back out there and ready to date someone else. You understand what I'm saying? So if you think about it, if a person tell you that a married man, even if this man is unhappy, unsatisfied, and won't out of his marriage, and is married to a karmic, and anything bad you can say about their situation, even if that was the truth and somebody wanted to say that this was your soulmate, this was your twin friend, this was your person and he desires to be with you. Okay. If he broke up with that person right now today, no divorce happens overnight, which means he would still be married. Okay. If he broke up with that person on today, he would not be healed. From that previous situation. Okay. If he broke up with that person right now today. And came directly to you. He would still in fact be dealing with that situation. This is not your person. They have not healed from their previous situation. They have not even completely gotten without their situation. Especially person who have children with other people. When they have children with other people. These is people going to be in their life for the rest of their life. To co-parent, to take care of their children. Do you understand what I'm saying? That That's the reason why those type of breakups take a long time. And those type of breakups take a while to heal. 
and to get to a point where y'all have been single for a while to heal this situation, get a routine of co-parenting and different things. Now you are free to date someone else. Okay. Because now you are completely healed and free from this other situation. And y'all got to understand it, that there's nothing else there. All y'all going to do is co-parent to take care of the children. Stop allowing these people to lie to y'all and telling y'all that other people's husbands and wives and girlfriends and boyfriends is your person. It is a lie. It is a lie. Period. Because for someone like me who has been um, celibate for 10 years, I haven't been in a relationship. Look, let me tell you something. I have been single for damn near as long as I was with my ex. Do you understand that? Me and my ex was together for 11 years. I have been single and celibate now for 10 years. Me and my ex haven't been together in all them years. You understand what I'm saying? All these years, I've gone without sex. I've had time to heal and everything. So what I'm not going to do is then accept somebody who ain't even completely out of a situation, still married to somebody, still in a, committed to somebody, still dealing with crazy drama bullshit because I don't have crazy drama and bullshit in my life. So what you're not going to do is convince me that somebody who got all that shit going on in their life is somehow my fucking person. And I got to stoop down to a low vibrational as energy to link up and be with this person. Never, nevertheless, sneaking and creeping around with I can do what I want to do. I ain't got to sneak and creep to do a goddamn thing. You understand what I'm saying? But if somebody got to sneak and creep to be with you, they still obligated to something the fuck else that they feel like as a grown ass adult, they need to sneak and creep. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And I'm not sitting on no back burner waiting on no damn body to come through when they want to. Stop. That's not your person. Y'all stop letting people lie to y'all. I be coming on here telling y'all the truth, honey. There's going to be no slick shots, no wisecracks. I don't be hating on nobody, but I, I, I can spot bullshit from a mile away. I'm allergic to that shit. I'm an observer, okay? I'm highly intuitive and naturally empathic. I can, you know what I'm saying? I can sense bullshit from miles and miles away. That is garbage. Okay? And don't get to the point where you're so lonely and you feel so desperate and you feel so without and you're sexually frustrated and, 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 and you know, especially when the holidays and, and different special occasions come around and you're all alone and by yourself. Don't get to the point where you feel so desperate and in need for something that you will accept anything. Because there's people who sniff that energy out, who will pounce on that, who will prey upon that. And you will find yourself back in the need of healing all over again because you have been crushed, because you have been hurt. Okay? You don't have to settle for less just because you are alone and by yourself. Sometimes it's safer that way. It may not feel good to be alone all the time, to not to have a companion, you understand what I'm saying? But maybe re the, 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 that rejection is for your own protection. Okay, guys. I thank y'all for listening. I thank you all for watching. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Don't let nobody use you. Don't let nobody play you. And don't let nobody run no game on you, okay? You nobody's options. You're not sitting no damn where for nobody to go any, many, many more. You it. But only for my benefit. No, fuck that. That's okay. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Y'all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to contact me, you can find that information in the description box below. You can email me at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram at shinebrightlikeadiamond36 with the underscore between each word. For any persons who would like to donate to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you in advance. Um, you can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at a 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey.
Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch surroundings in a company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you, or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Remember, love yourself and know your worth.